On this channel, we talk about DNS leaks whenever a VPN is brought up. But if you don't really know what those are, I'm about to have DNS leaks explained. I will tell you everything there is to know about DNS leaks and show you how to see if you have a DNS leak. Plus, I will teach you how to fix those. Before we have DNS leaks explained, the main question is, what is DNS in the first place? DNS stands for Domain Name System. And it's a system that matches domain names with corresponding IP addresses. Take our website, for example. By typing vpnpro.com, you will invoke a DNS server that will request a unique IP address associated with this name. Browsing without a VPN would make all your requests pass through ISP-owned DNS servers, unless you configure your router to work with a different DNS, which is not that easy. At the end of the day, this basically means that your ISP knows every website you visit. With a VPN though, since your requests are rerouted through a VPN server, your ISP will not get any such information. At least that's how it's supposed to work. But sometimes DNS leaks can occur. When your system reverts to the default ISP DNS servers, despite the fact you are using a VPN, that's right, here's a DNS leaks explained, this usually happens when your VPN is configured wrong or when the service itself is unreliable. In rare instances, a VPN you are using may not have its own DNS servers at all. All those cases cause your connection to leak outside of the secure VPN tunnel, exposing all your private data. This is why most reputable VPNs made it their goal to include DNS leak protection. For instance, NordVPN can prevent any unencrypted queries going outside its VPN tunnel. If you want to give it a shot, a secure VPN that can protect you from DNS leaks, I will leave discounts for NordVPN in the description below. It really is a reliable option, but even if you end up using it, you have to know how to check for DNS leaks. Answering the is my DNS leaking question is fairly simple. Some VPN providers even have tools made specially to check for DNS leaks. For instance, Surfshark's DNS leaks test is really good if you are using this VPN. But if not, it will show leaks all the time, so it's not my top choice. Instead, I prefer to do a DNS leak check with websites like ipleak.net or dnsleaktest.com. They both are almost identical. Just run the DNS leaks test and check if you are still getting your original IP even when using a VPN. So first, check your original IP using one of those websites. Then connect to a different server using your VPN and test the VPN connection with the same website. If the IP and location are completely different from your original ones, all is good. If not, you have a DNS leak at hand. But how to solve DNS leaks once you know about them? Well, fixing DNS leaks is usually not a clear case. Sometimes simply reconnecting or choosing a different VPN server will do the trick. Other times you will need to clean your cache and browser cookies as they can keep information about your previous connection. But in both cases, using a reliable VPN provider with a strong security focus is the way to reduce the frequency of DNS leaks. I recommend NordVPN and Surfshark, both offer dedicated features to prevent DNS leaks, and I can offer you the best deals for those VPNs, just check out the links in the description. And that's about it guys, if you have any more questions or want to have another VPN specifics explained, leave a comment. Hopefully, you learn how to see if you have DNS leaks from this video, and I am going to help you learn more in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.